on board KCAA's Inland Park Express. KCAA, Loma Linda, 1050 AM, the station that leaves no listener behind. And don't go anywhere, because coming up next is the lovely ladies with Let's Go Shopping with Bev here on the station that leaves no listener behind. And your only home for Inland Empire 66ers Baseball, AM 1050, and also on KCAA Radio. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starfly Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yes, it's another Friday. I don't know. They just keep on showing up after Thursday and before Saturday. I don't know why, but they're always here. Well, I and know a lot of people love Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yeah, especially today, huh? And do you know why they love Fridays? Fashion Count- Friday. Fashion, <laughs> <laughs> ah, Fashion yes, Friday. Yeah, and, like and what else? Uh, because for most people, the week is over. Unless you work the weekend. But you know what? Even if you work the weekend, weekends are kind of like just lax and it's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. I don't mind working. A little bit laid back. Yeah. But but I'm actually off for the next few days. That is way (laughs) cool. How did you manage that? Um, You know what? I just kind of like thought, I deserve it. And so I just scheduled things around it. And I honestly don't have any really big plans. I left it open because sometimes when you do that, Right, Jesse? Yeah. Like, you just get the spontaneous stuff happening, and I just have this really good feeling. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And then the Olympics start today. Oh. Yes. So the opening ceremony, 730 on NBC television. Yeah. And our private jet's going to pick us up in a minute, and we're out of here. And, and we're flying over there, and uh, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. In the refrigerator, I have a lovely steak waiting for me with, with my name on it. And I'm going to go home. I'm going to get in my Jam Jams. I'm going to cook that steak, turn the TV on, and I'm going to be watching the Olympics. Wait a minute. Right. This Olympics is taking place in London. So you should be having a cup of tea and maybe some crumpets, something else. Oh, the tea right? is at for yes, dessert. That's right. Pinky <laughs> right. up, Eric. And the pinky up. You know, I want to give a shout-out, hey, to Eva. I don't know if you can hear us in London, but my friend flew out there and she's there for the opening she flew out yesterday how about that so what do we chop liver she didn't invite us she needed a bodyguard <laughs> hey all i know is she's sporting a california my hair do before she left so that's cool that if is she would have known jesse she'd have been sporting his goods too that's right and really oh, quick before that. we get talking about our friends over the pond, yes, because we'll be talking <laughs> about the them in, in, in a moment. And through the woods. Yeah, you know what? This is one cool show. So, guys, if you're in your vehicles and you're driving, turn down the air conditioner just a teed wet. Turn the radio up a whole lot and be happy. And if you have to write notes, get off the road, go into a parking lot or whatever to write your notes so you don't get into trouble. Because today... Bum ba dum! I am thrilled with this show. One because Christina Miley Eisen is here, yay! Ah, thank you. Yes, and we have Starbucks from across the street, <laughs> and Suzanne. We're going to be talking to her in a few moments, and she is the director in marketing of the Cash Mob. Woo-hoo. You heard this are all over the United States. We got her on the phone. And to top that, too, well, next to that, we have Jesse, Jesse J. Collections. And he is the newest and hottest designer that ever popped up on the name. We got him in the house with some of his clothes. Yay! I'm so excited. I know a lot of jealous people out there. I'm sitting next to him. (laughs) I I know. And we got pictures to prove it, too. And then also we're going to be talking to Sherry from Jezebel Cottage. So it's, it's a lovely, lovely show. But before we go on any farther, there's one big announcement i got to make. Last week, you heard uh, Christina and I talking about the Junior University, and they are doing the 50th anniversary of the Wizard of Oz right here at Paris Hill Park and Sam Bernardino. 
and their address is 1001 East Highland Avenue. Well, my grandson, Michael Anthony, is in this performance, and so I went with his mommy, and we've seen it. It is beyond believable what these young people have done and how, how yeah, that's for you, and Everything that they did, they had to do the set, the costumes, everything from the bottom up. And wait till you see them flying monkeys. Nice. I tell everybody, wait, you got to go to see these flying monkeys. I mean, they were incredible. And we were laughing and well, dancing and singing. I love the Wizard of Oz. That's yeah. my fave. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. be seeing that. I think we're going tonight or tomorrow. But mm-hmm. we're definitely going and taking the grandkids. And I grew up with um, Junior University and uh, Paris Hill nice. Park. <laughs> yes, you know? and uh, I, I'm going to say I love it. And so, anyways, we have um, some free more tickets that the people from the play and the university gave to us. And if you would all like to get a free ticket to go to this, and it's really cool because this is one ticket for one family, two adults and their children under the age of 18. You can bring a picnic basket. You can bring your sodas. You can bring your waters. Bring a blankie. Say, whatever. Picnic, say picnic one more time. Picnic. <laughs> <laughs> a picnic basket. She used to watch yeah. Yogi Bear. I know it. Hey, no, yeah, I'm a New Yorker. That's, that's the way we say yeah, yeah, that's what that's what we do. And it's really cool. And it starts at 8.15 p.m. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you would like these free tickets, call in 888-909-1050. Again, that number is 888-909-1050. You like this? <laughs> New Yorker yes. again. That New Yorker and, and England are getting together here. She took all the wine in the picnic basket. That's, that, <laughs> that's what that picnic basket is, yes. And you can get the tickets here at the station Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Again, you can pick the tickets up right here at the station at 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday. And if you call in, give Eric your name. He will take the information. You can come down and you can get the free tickets. But I'll tell you, it is one fantastic musical. It's, it's unbelievable. You guys just got to go and see it. And they had so many children there. The, and the children were dancing and singing and getting happy, and the parents, it's, it's fabulous, absolutely well, fabulous. Know, what, what a nice thing to do right here. It's right in the uh, city. It's local. It's close mm-hmm. by, and it is a great show. I mean, every show they do every year is great, From the, like you said, the costuming and the music, and, I mean, it, what a nice night to bring the family out, you know, and, mm-hmm. and do Definitely. something really family-oriented and just enjoy your evening. I'm, I'm hoping people call in and take advantage because what a great opportunity and you get to bring with these tickets you have two adults and you all and your, your children. children wow that's perfect that's yeah. your family call family in night and out. take advantage of it and make sure you bring a blankie or something and if you're going to sit on the benches remember bring some kind of a cushion because the benches get hard after a while. They really do. I do remember those concrete benches. Yes. Yeah. And, again, that number is 888-909-1050. Call in, talk to Eric, give him your name, come and pick up a ticket, and you will go, and it's lovely. And especially in the heat, you can get outdoors. There's a lot of trees here. You get this cross breeze going. Fabulous. Fabulous. So in, guys. there you go. Yeah, and I think they have some little snack booths there that if mm-hmm. you know, or you can actually grab something and have a bite in the in the park just before the show starts. A lot um, of people do that, um, and there's a lot of little local restaurants around there too. Yes, there is. Like the Mexico Cafe is right across the street, and and uh, a few others. So you can make a whole day evening out of it, I should say. There you go. And there's <laughs> even Carl Jr.'s down the street. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, it's it's fun. So guys, come on, call in eight 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 nine zero. 9, 10, 50. Get the free tickets for you and the family to go and see The Wizard of Oz. And I'm just telling you, you got to see them flying monkeys, what they do. <laughs> or tune in to us and you can see some monkeys right here, too. Having a good time. Oh, now we're monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, why Eric is still busy getting um, Suzanne on she's the on. phone. She's on. Oh, she's on. Is she there? Okay. I'm here. Hi, guys. Hey, Hi, Suzanne. How, how you doing? doing? 
I'm doing very well. How are you? We're doing good, and thank you for giving us this time. Now, Not a problem. Now, would you please tell us the beginning of the story? How did the cash mob get started and why? Sure. Actually, the first cash mob was held about a year ago in Ohio, and Andrew Samsoy was the person who's credited with starting this whole phenomenon. He was the one who put the first one out in Ohio, and basically it's just it's a grassroots, community-led movement to get people to shop in uh, local businesses, locally owned establishments, and really it's just taken off from there. The trend has grown, and people are getting creative, and it's just really an awesome, awesome movement. That is so nice. And now when, now it's all in the different states, and yeah. if I, correct me if I'm wrong, but you go through the chamber to get the local businesses? That's correct. Actually, we work with a lot of different people. We work with a lot of chambers of commerce. Uh, we work with Rely, Mo- Rely Local Movement. And then sometimes it's just individuals who are looking to spread the cash mob movement to their area. So it depends. But most of the time it's, it's a chamber of commerce or another government program. That is so neat. I love that. And not too long ago, you were right down here on Highland. That's correct. We're everywhere, actually. You, I mean, you said in the States, but we're in Canada. Um, actually, there have been a few in Europe and Australia. So, really, it's a global thing. Oh, that is beyond cool. Definitely. Now, when you decide or you talk to somebody and they want to get the cash mob in there, now, how does it work from there? It really just depends on the community and what their needs are. A lot of the times we um, will basically just see how big the community is. Sometimes if it's a larger community, we can let the community vote. And, you know, maybe there are five stores in the running. Or if it's smaller, sometimes it's just better to give the community where they're going. Um, but so basically we just try to find the needs, what they're trying to do, what their population is, um, how often they can do it. Can they do it every month or can they maybe do it once a quarter? It really just depends. But basically we try to fit the needs of every individual community so that it can be successful. Because what works for, for example, a little store in L.A. is not going to work for a small town Midwest USA town, basically. That's true. And was there any one particular area that was so unique from anybody else that stands out in your mind? Actually, there was one in Mahoning Valley, which is um, at the chamber in Ohio, actually, and they do one a month, and they do it really creatively. They actually mob a merchant once a month. They they mob somebody who offers a service once a month, and then they also mob an Internet company once a month. So they do three a month in their area, um, but it targets three different types of people or types of merchants or locally owned stores, if you will. Uh huh. And I just think it's such a cool adaptation, and really everybody does it differently. I've seen... Um, actually, there was one, I think, in Idaho where we helped people. They mobbed multiple stores in the area, but then every person who bought something then turns around and donated it to the women's shelter in the area. So it was kind of a double whammy for that community. It was awesome. Now, that is terrific. And uh, Christina and I and everybody here at the station at KCAA, we are really big in giving back. Absolutely. And I think that everybody in wherever you are should start doing that because, you know, you're helping so many other people and to get them going, and then they're going to help somebody else, and it's a chain reaction. Pay it forward. Exactly. Yes, pay it forward, pay Jesse. It forward. You're right. Exactly. <laughs> now, I think we're needing that more than ever, don't you think? Oh, definitely. More than ever, people are coming back together and doing that, and uh, it's really important to, to start in our small communities and then expand out mm-hmm. like they yeah. have. And um, And then if everyone does that, Wow. Back to, you know, what a perfect world. Exactly. It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, Sue's, now, Sue, how long have you been there, and how did you become the director in the marketing? Sure. So, actually, com has been online and, and operating since the end of last year, so the end of December, early January. Um, and basically, the person who started our company, I'm just the director of marketing and promotion, but he... Um, the CEO of our company is actually Juggle.com. This is a nonprofit division. Everything we do that we do for these areas is completely 100% free. He funds it out of his pocket. His name is Ryan Noble. Um, his partner's name is Stephanie Leffler. And they have always done things in their business to help small to medium-sized business. I guess you could say they have a soft place in their heart for it. Um, and so they operate small to medium-sized businesses. And so it's just kind of giving back. 